Hello everyone, it is your favorite kind of punch, Mr. Falcon Punch 996, the underrated king, the recommendation master, and of course YouTube's number one Doro Hidoro fanboy, back to bring you guys another new video. Today I'm here for a quick movie review for Kran Shin Chan, my moving story, Great Cactus Attack. Now I know I should be focusing on my One Piece movie marathon and don't worry a review for movie 4 will be up soon. However, I've been waiting for this Shin-Chan movie forever. Since, well, it's really the only time I get to see good old Mexico in anime form. I mean, part of the promotion for this movie actually had an ambassador from Mexico give Shin his own Mexican visa. So yeah, that's something you don't see every day. Anyways, this time around, Shin and his family move to Mexico after his dad's company sets their sights on a mysterious fruit coming out of cacti in a small Mexican village. While it does take time to get used to their new surroundings, the family eventually settles in. That is, until the cacti of the village turn into man-eating monsters. That Shin, his family, and some leftover villagers must find a way to stop in order to save the village. Now like most Shin Chan movies, this is a fun little experience full of plenty of funny moments the whole family can enjoy. Save for a couple more suggestive moments, but this is Shin Chan after all. The beginning of this movie was pretty heartfelt as the Noharas say their farewell to their friends as well as the town that practically raised them. Which was also very relatable as someone who's moved around plenty of times in the past. Though I find it hilarious that as soon as the Noharas land in Mexico, they're already dressed up in traditional clothing and holding tacos, like nothing out of the ordinary. Seeing the Naharas ease into their new lifestyles was enjoying the many delights of Mexico like its rich culture, lucha libre, mariachis, tacos, and of course, bouncy women. It was really fun to watch, but of course the main meat of this movie is when everything goes to shit and the cacti attack. Leaving the rest of the movie as a survival horror for kids, which is actually pretty cool when you think about it. While I did have a fun time with this movie and heavily recommend it as some light entertainment or family fun, I did have two problems with the movie. The first one isn't that big of a deal, but something that always kind of annoys me with the newer Shin-Chan movies. And that's just how some of the movie characters sort of clash with the style of Shin-Chan, and it can be pretty distracting. It may sound pretty weird by saying this, but this guy right here having proper eyes is fucking distracting. As almost everyone in Shin-Chan has basic dots for eyes, and many of the villagers are drawn in a much finer art style when compared to the series' more childlike and crude art style. Again, this is more or less a minor complaint, as this really isn't the only Shin-Chan movie to do so. Though Shin's new teacher in this movie is 10 out of 10. VIVA MEXICO! My second problem with the movie is how they resolve the issue with the cacti. Which as it turns out, their weakness is water, which is like, really really lame. Especially when cactus are known for their ability in storing water. Plus, like, it goes against Pokemon logic, man. Grass types are supposed to be strong against water types. Besides that, once again, this is a very fun and enjoyable film. It has all the comedy one would expect from a Shin-Chan movie, paired with the emotions of moving and adapting to a new surrounding. That so happens to be Mexico. Also, the survival horror aspects of the second half of this movie is very fun and outrageous to watch. Just wish they thought of a better resolution to the whole thing. And now it's time to wrap up this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I am Mr. Falcon Punch 996 Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page, and of course, if you haven't done any of that yet, you will be Falcon Punch in the face, so you better do it, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.